In this video, we'll take a closer look at cannulation and taking bloods from a cannula. This is how your tray will look as you approach the patient bedside. First, identify the patient. Then tie the tourniquet. Palpate for a vein. And clean the site with a chlorhexidine wipe, making a parachute shape and cleaning in a grid pattern. Prepare your cannula. Anchor the skin and advance the cannula until you can see primary flashback. Then retract the needle slightly and advance the cannula fully into the vein. Prepare your gauze underneath the cannula. and release the tourniquet. Remove the cannula needle and dispose in the sharps bin. Attach the bung in the vacutainer. Then take aerobic then anaerobic blood cultures. Make sure you angle the bottles downward so the solution in the bottle doesn't enter the cannula. Invert the bottles. And draw blood into a purple blood tube. Finally, draw blood into the VBG syringe. and expel any air. You can remove the vacutainer from the bung by twisting it, as well as removing the gauze. You can secure the wings of the cannula with the cannula sticker strips before wiping the bung. And administering the saline flush. Check for any swelling as you give the flush. You can now apply the rest of the cannula sticker.
Before leaving the patient bedside, ensure you have completed the date and time sticker for the cannula. as well as labelling the blood bottles appropriately, either by hand or through printed stickers. When attaching the saline infusion, you will need to identify the patient if you have left their bedside. Clean the end of the cannula with a chlorhexidine wipe. Remove the cap from the infusion. and twist onto the bung. You can then open the roller ball and adjust the drip rate to an appropriate level.